Hello everybody Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills and welcome to another day, another week full of tea. Girl, the holidays are here. This is the last week before Christmas, so we'll be expecting a lot of craziness over here. Like today I we have another one of my parties, you know, like I think I told you this before, but like we have this Colombian tradition where we have to like literally uh, meet with all of our friends and family for nine days before Christmas and like eat and drink. And there is like a different theme, you know, and like today we have like this whole like crazy hat, Christmas hat situation. So I was like, I'm going to be an elf. So that's why I'm here like this tonight. But anyways, I'm very excited. The whole week is going to be great. So happy holidays to every single one of you. I hope that this week if you have to work well try to honestly i think then the, this and the next week there are the last two weeks of the year guys come on nothing is going to happen okay so take it easy do your bare minimum you know <laughs> i mean honestly i usually i'm like let's go let's take it by the horns like full of energy like do your best i'm like it's the last two weeks of the year like who cares just be happy enjoy the holidays and have fun all right, guys, I want to welcome every single one of you. If you are new here, welcome to the Verbally Troop, where we spill the tea every single day. We keep it very real, and we have a lot of fun. So you know what to do. Subscribe, 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 and hit the notification bell. All right, guys, so it is time to talk about this oh, mess. Girl, let's talk about the real house with Beverly Hills, because, look, Hal Richards is receiving some backlash well a lot of backlash but like i, I just i i want to like really treat a little bit carefully what we're going to be talking today okay so on the last episode it was a very emotional episode for kyle you know she literally opened up to what happened to her best friend you know uh she lost her to suicide you know it was like a very powerful episode you can literally see the pain on Kyle's eyes, you know, like it was, it was really heartbreaking, you know? And uh, I talk about it on the, um, on the recap of the last episode. I was like, I really felt for her because I, I haven't gone through that situation, but I have been very close to someone who went through that situation. And, um, I can, I know the effects that it has on people, you know? And the people that stays here and the family members that stay here, like it's, it's a lot, you know? So I, 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 watching Kyle go through that and being so open and real and raw, it was like, whoa, you know, like, like I literally cried watching that, that piece, that moment right there, you know? But of course I start thinking something in the back of my mind. And then when I went to social media, I start seeing a lot of comments. Uh, giving Carl Richards backlash over not that specific moment, but like what that moment is entitling, right? And I was like, okay, what does this mean? Because one of the things is that Carl Richards can't believe that some of the other girls and some people are treating her this way, are going after her marriage, are going after, you know, a lot of situations when she is going through this whole very sad dark situation you know she's like i you know what i'm going through like why would you do this to me why would you talk about my things why would you try to kick me when i'm down and i'm like girl imagine someone that is going through the exact same situation but instead of being a friend it was actually her brother. And all of the ladies decided to kick her down when she was on the lowest of her lowest. Who, do you know what I'm talking about? Because it's so, like, I, like my mind literally exploded in that moment. And I was like, I don't want to be mean about it because I know that what Kyle is going through is very real. But it's literally the exact thing that they did to Lisa Vanderpump, you know? And people on social media, that's why they were calling her out. It's like, 
oh so you want to be sad you want to like no one be asking you questions you want people to give you the privacy and respect that you deserve during this time but where was all of this energy when your best friend back in the day lisa vanderpump was going through the same situation when her brother also committed suicide and and she had to go through all of that she literally was filming like two weeks after uh it happened she was literally filming a couple of days after the funeral you know and you were there very quickly screaming at her screaming at her house calling her a liar calling her all kind of bullshit over a stupid dog and fucking lisa rena and dorit you know you were doing the exact same thing so of course now you can see the double standard now you can see the hip hop hypocrisy of the whole situation right now what i'm saying is it's uh really like lightly is because i don't want to dim this diminish the feelings that kyle was having at that at the moment that they were filming you know because still she is going through it still it's a lot of pain it still is a lot of shit but maybe that will open her eyes into like thinking look what is happening to me and i was doing the exact same shit to someone that went through the exact same shit that i did and honestly a little bit worse because it was an actual family member a brother you know so imagine that like like i'm just hoping that the kyle is realizing that that this is opening her eyes and i'm hoping that she's reaching out to lisa and i'm hoping well i don't know if well it has been several months since that happened so i don't know but i'm hoping that that at some point she realized that what she did with lisa was so wrong because of this going through something like that losing someone like this is one of the worst things that could happen to you because the uncertainty the questions the 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 lack of answers the the whole thing is just too much and she and and kyle literally says well, how can they kick me when i'm down well you kick lisa when she was in the lowest of her lowest is it karma is it a, a lesson that life is trying to teach you i don't know you know because honestly honestly I, it's not like i want to be mean to kyle i i want her to like like i feel very bad for her pain and I, I like i know her pain is very real so i'm just hoping that she is learning the lesson that life is trying to teach her with this you know i'm not saying that she has to run and like you know like step in front of lisa's vanderpump uh backyard with a huge uh boom sound thing whatever no you know I'm, but at least like acknowledge it you know and they say like you know what i I was a horrible person to her in the moment that she needed it the most, in the moment that she needed her best friend, her sister, her soulmate next to her, and she wasn't because, because she was being brain, brainwashed by Lisa Rena because she, I don't know, I honestly I still don't understand exactly how Kyle let herself be manipulated and then dragged into the, this whole Fox 5-4 situation just for a show but uh, you know so and people are talking everyone is, i mean it's so there you know like all of the things that kyle has done are like literally coming back this season and it's it has to be a wake-up call you know uh so let's see May, maybe i mean i know that she has been working on herself and, you know she stopped drinking she literally did a pose like the whole like i am not an alcoholic just you don't have to be an alcoholic to stop drinking and all of that, which is true. Uh, she's she's working on herself. She's working on 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 you know her persona. I'm hoping that this is gonna help her open her eyes, you know, and realize the similarities of what is going on right now. And you know, anyways, um, so that's it. Let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And if you wanna get all the tea related to the Real House of Beverly Hills or any of the other Bravo shows. Be sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.